All right, I'm gonna try and show you this, guys. Attracted to my UV Beast flashlight is a hammock skipper. He just landed right on the end of my flashlight. Look at that, that's so cool. There's another something else flying around. Dude, this, this flashlight is awesome, I love it. it. Tracks all kinds of stuff. You know, it helps me find cool bugs. I just like this uh, Io or Elo Sphinx. Elo Sphinx larva. And we get butterflies flying in too. All right, guys, we're looking for Sphinx caterpillars with our UV beast flashlight. We're in the hammocks of Key Largo. And we're looking for any tropical moth caterpillar. I would say or butterfly caterpillar, but mostly moths. Uh, anything that we can find. And the UV beast, man, when you put this black light, UV black light on a caterpillar, they just light right up. So we're going to try and show you guys some caterpillar action if we can. Um, we're just checking checking leaves of trees and seeing what we can find and uh we'll see what we can see if we can find something worth showing you guys oh there look right there guys that quick it looks like uh looks like we got an elo elo sphinx caterpillar oh yeah Look at that thing, man. Yellow Sphinx coming at you. So. Look how they light up green. Did he just fall? Really? I've never seen a Sphinx larva do that. See if I can show you their eye. You got like this cyclops eye here. They hide it and then they pop it out. Ow! Mosquitoes bite biting me. Oh, it hurts. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. All right, where's my container? Oh, the freaking thing just flew right up my nose. Let's see if there's anything else up here before I go turn the light off. Oh, there's another one. There's two caterpillars. I'm going to break a stem off here. Right there, look at that. He's a little bit smaller, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's see who else we got here. Are we anybody else? Yep, there's another one. Two more. Wow, four, four Elo Sphinx caterpillars on this one. I think this is a crabwood tree. Huh. I didn't know they ate crabwood. Okay, that's. I know that uh, Elo Sphinx is polyphagous, they eat a bunch of different things. Crabwood's a new one for me. Let's see. Let's see. Bingo. <laughs> Look at that. Golf artillery chrysalis. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I can tell you right now, walking around at night with nothing but a little black light, it's a little freaky. 
can hear all the sounds of the forest. You can see where caterpillars were eating there. There's no leaves. Let's see. See, here we go. Bingo. Lit up like Christmas morning. He's up there though. That's a that's a big one though. That's like he's final in star. Probably Elo Sphinx. I have to kind of get up there and check him out to tell. Why do you gotta be way up there? All right, guys, that is a big dog, Ello Sphinx Caterpillar, like full grown. Oh, yeah. Pretty freaking cool. He's a big dog. He's got another, maybe another day or two before he makes his pupa. I'm all about it. Like that. <sighs> okay. Well, got some Smilax vine. Come on, caterpillars. There's actually some pretty cool caterpillars that eat Smilax. All right, let's see. Oh. oh, what's that? Is that a caterpillar? It's glowing like a caterpillar. Yeah, it's a caterpillar. I don't know what it is. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see. It's here. Oh, yeah, he's glowing. Oh, you know what that is? That's a saddleback. That's a poisonous caterpillar, guys. Let me see if I can turn my light on here. Okay, so. Right here on the Smilax vine. He's pretty far away. But we have a what looks to be a full-grown saddleback caterpillar, and they're known for having one of the worst stings of any caterpillar around. That's the first saddleback I've seen in a long time. You don't want to run into that guy by accident, guys. I wish I could show this to you up close. All right, well, that's, that's cool. Um... The color, the caterpillar is like a two-tone color. It's got brown and green. The green side is what lights up in the UV light. Very cool. All right, guys. I was able to get the saddleback caterpillar down without damaging anything. Guys, you see those black sp those spines all on the sides of this caterpillar? Those things pack a punch. Actually, let me get my flash on the camera on. Okay, let me show you this caterpillar, guys. This is one of the most menacing little caterpillars that exists. This is the saddleback caterpillar. It's a little brown moth. The moth is actually very... Uh, <laughs> very boring looking obviously this caterpillar gets its name from the little brown marking that's on its back it looks like a horse saddle uh, but this is not one that you want to straddle because these spines have a toxin in them and they act like hypodermic needles and if it touches you guys it packs a serious serious punch and so um, I wanted to show them to you I was able to get them down without damaging any trees without getting stung. And I was grateful I get to show you 
this beast of a caterpillar. Uh, this is a saddleback, guys. This is the first one of these I've seen in a long, long time. So pretty cool. Uh, the UV beast helped me find this guy. Nasty, nasty, spiny sucker right there.